Good evening everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks with myself, L Plates. Okay, so we're on Fjords, um, according to XVM, fairly even matchup. I'm in the Centurion Mark 1. Um, big fan of the British tanks, especially the mediums. Um, currently working my way through them, hopefully sometime within the next uh, few months. I may get my hands on the 7-1. Huge fan of the uh, Cromwell even bigger fan of the Comet and I am growing to uh, enjoy what this tank has to offer as well so as I say we're on fjords even match I've gone up here to see if I can uh, get any spots on any tanks flying past um, as you can see the, our team evenly spread out got a T-54 there rushing top of the map to see if you can spot anybody up for the tanks over here such as myself, the Ferdinand and the T-28 uh, to shoot at and we've also got some guys going off around the J4 area as well, which can be a bit of a choke point. So, so far, nothing. Diddly Squat has been spotted, which is quite surprising. But that can all change in a matter of seconds, as I'm sure you're all aware. So there's been one spotted up there on the J4 line. But still, nothing at the moment around me. So there's a few more with the enemies uh, being spotted up at the J4 line. I think there's three of them now. So I decide I'm going to head on over there and give them a bit of backup if they need it. There's actually four over there now. Now this spot here, running past where our uh, tank there is looking down, can be a bit deadly. As you can see, there is somebody camping that, but they didn't manage to get a shot on me, which was quite fortunate. So I'm coming up here, we've got, got three of our guys, four of theirs. Um, make it even now, four on four. Got quite lucky there, bounced a, a shot off um, the turret of the Centurion. Trying to sneak around, get some shots in. Got a nice hit on the wall there, 224. It's not, not massive, uh, you know, damage from this gun, but it's bloody quick on the load. I'm seeing our um, TDs backed off there, so I'm going to take advantage of this rock. As you can see, we've got four enemy tanks in front. We have four of us. So it's, a, it's an even match. Ideally, it's a medium. I shouldn't really be here facing off with these heavy tanks in front. But the team needed the backup. So I'll get another hit on the low there. 228. And I'm using this rock as best as I can. Hopefully, side scrape their shots they put in at me. Get a hit on the Yag Tiger. Still not taking any damage, which is quite unbelievable. As you can see, somebody's decided to spam the chat. Track My tracks eat the shot there. So I back off a bit, get back in behind this rock. So now there's only myself in the SU-152, but he's decided to do a runner on me and he's left me with three tanks what would I like to say about the SU-152 driver what I'd like to say about him would stop me, you know it would stop me being able to publish this video I cannot believe he'd ran off and left me so but what can I do about that now you know it's me and there's actually four but one of them just took off around the corner so it's back to free again. I suppose I could say this too. Me and the rock. <laughs> versus these three. So my shot goes a bit astray there. Looks like the arty's just... Uh... Kicked in. I bounce another one off my turret. Detract the, the uh, tank there. 
and I take him out. So we've got two left. And the Ferdinand's come. Come in support. I did scream for SOS. So he has actually come up to give me a hand. T-34 I managed to take down. There's two more again in front of us. Now I've got 544 hit points left. So I've got to be careful. Yeah, Tiger, nice hit there. A little bit pinned down and we can see um, behind us there. And um, they're pushing to come in behind us as well. It's a little bit of a waiting game. You can see their uh, T-34. He's, he's backing off. Which our Ferdinand uses to go in and take him out. Which frees us up. We can actually move up now. Get to the corner. Now I've got more hit points than the Ferdy. So I push him front so we can use me as a bit of a meat shield if needed. It's time to chase the T-34 down. Now, in my eyes, I should not still be alive. I should have been annihilated um, by those tanks in front. But somehow, luck was on my side. And I managed to make it out. So we're pushing around after the T-34. We actually spot up the artillery, which our Ferdinand goes in for. And that was a quite a lucky shot that I got on him there to, to take him out. So the Ferdinand's got a shot on the art, he's left him with 2%. I'll use my speed and reload speed and go in and finish him off. So the T-34 is still knocking around, and we've got the we've got a low and an IS-3. The low is camping the entrance to the spawn point. He just took our Ferdinand out. So I'm in a bit, little bit of a pickle here. If he if he hits me now, I'm gone. But I take a hit from this IS-3. Didn't know he was there. Get a nice hit on him. Now I am fast to reload. So I'm crossing my fingers at this point. Look again, he's on my side. So I've got the low in front of me and the T-34. Sorry, I've got the T-34 in front of me, not the low. The low's up over the far side. I do have the Ag Panthers come up with me. Bit of a dilemma, 152 hit points. I'm sure he's still got his turret facing round waiting for me to stick my nose out. Oh, Jag Panther's decided to pull back and he's going to go round the far side. Try and take out the uh, the low. <laughs> and our artillery, the uh, GW Tiger, is coming up for a bit of fun. Which I, I did actually find quite amusing. He, he comes up and gives me a bit of support here. But we've got to find out if this uh, guy's still in position. So at some point I'm going to have to have a look. Here we go. We decided to have a poke round. And he's not there. He's not where he was, so he's moved. But if he's moved far, or if he's just around the corner, you know, I'm not too sure, and there's only going to be one way to find out. Now I can either wait for the Yag Panther and the Yag Tiger to come round and spot. 
or like a lunatic I can go in and take a chance and the lol's been spotted and I, like a lunatic I decide I'm gonna go ideally I should be waiting for this T-34 to be spotted up I'm not too sure why that SU-14 is saying cowards. But, you know, you're, they're playing it safe. And there's the T-34. I decided to give it a go. I, I waited too long. I should have gone a lot earlier than that if I was going to go, but I didn't. And I made a mistake. And I paid for it. But I feel, you know, I'd, I was quite lucky to survive that long. Um, picked up some some fun ideas from that with the side scraping to do with this tank. Um, for one, I found out that rock is in a very, very handy place for the Centurion um, if you use it for side scraping on. So, so, yeah. Not a bad game. So let's take a look at some stats. Okay, so here we go, stats, so we got the victory, um, 41,000 credits and just over 2,000 experience. Like I say, uh, to me that was a fun game, my heart was pounding, especially, you know, when we was pinned down in the uh, K4 area. So the team scores, I mean you can see there, um, a few of our guys put down some decent damage. Uh, 1986 is what I did. Not too bad for the uh, Centurion Mark 1, especially in that type of matchup. There were some big, big tanks. Um, I did originally think, you know, I'm going to struggle to really get any penetrations on them. But they kept showing the lower glaciers on me, and I managed to uh, put some decent shots into them. Finally, the uh, detailed report. So I fired 15 shots, 12 of those hit, and out of the 12 that hit, they all penetrated for a damage of 1,986. I received 13 hits, 9 of those penetrated, 4 didn't, and that was for a potential damage of just over 5,000. Unbelievable. It's just crazy how I even managed to survive as long as I did. Um, enemies detected, 2, enemies damaged, 6, enemies destroyed, 4, and 645 um, spotting damage. Did a little bit of travelling, um, and I made a few credits uh, to boot as well. So, yeah, that was a surprising game for me. When I did move over to the K4 area to give a little bit of backup, I just thought, you know, I'll go over, hold them up, um, allowing some of our bigger tanks to come in and, uh, you know, put down the damage. But I wasn't expecting it to go the way it did. But nonetheless, fun game, and I did actually learn some stuff from, from that game. So, yeah, fun overall. Okay, everybody, thanks very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and there uh, you'll receive notifications of when I next upload a video. Okay again, thanks very much and I'll see you next time.